Welcome back to uh, <coughs> segment number three of Super Bowl 101. And I'm sorry to have uh, uh, kept you waiting for a I had some, a little bit of uh, work I needed to do to get this segment set up. Uh, well, right now we're going to be li- reliving some of the greatest moments in Super Bowl history. And we got I put down some really great ones for you. And uh, but before we do that, here's the trivia question for segment number three. Who is the first wildcard team to win a Super Bowl? I will have the answer uh, later in the podcast. Uh, this segment. Now, for this segment, we're going to relive some of the greatest moments in Super Bowl history, beginning uh, with uh, a great moment from Super Bowl f- Four, which was the last time the Chiefs won a Super Bowl. And it was... Uh, the, and it involves a 65 tower power trap. Up 9 nothing on the Vikings. Chiefs head coach Hank Strom called the play 65 uh, toss power trap. And Mike Garrett ran into the end zone for the touchdown. The play is an immortal immortalized because of because Strom was mic'd for sound. And that's what gave the... Uh, Chiefs to win in Super Bowl IV, and that's one of the greatest, and that is for sure one of the uh, greatest moments in Super Bowl history. Uh, Now, my next one, greatest moment in Super Bowl history, comes from uh, Super Bowl one which the uh, uh, Chiefs fell to the Packers 35 to 10 and it's called the hammer is hammered defensive back and future uh, uh, blacks uh, uh, pilot uh, pilot uh, tation, uh, pilot pilotation movie star Fred Williamson, a.k.a. The Hammer, said in an interview that two hammers would be enough to stop the Packers. Uh, Packers, uh, Carol, defense events, Carol Dale and Brian, uh, Boyd Doler, excuse me, Boyd Doler, excuse me. Williamson was actually the one knocked out of the game when his head hit the knee of running back Donnie Anderson. The irony was not lost on the football world, but as for the hammer, he would uh, he would keep his career would go until the early uh, <clears throat> until the uh, uh, nineteen at the end of the nineteen sixty eight sixty nine season, I believe. Or so uh, as for the hammer, the hammer just continued to go strong, and uh, and uh, he was a part of NFL Super Bowl history. Now, my next one is from Super Bowl 28, which the Dallas Cowboys were playing the uh, Buffalo Bills and won that one. And it's called Emmett Takes Control. After going in at halftime down 13-6 to to the Bills, the Cowboys tied the game at 13 and then put together a 64-yard touchdown drive. Smith had accounted for uh, 61 of, of these yards, all 61 of those yards, when he smashed into the end zone, Smith gave what may have been the, his most animated celebration of his career. And as you know, the uh, Dallas Cowboys won that Super Bowl uh, that year, and it was by the final score of uh, it was 28 to 21, I believe. Check me if I'm wrong. But as for the Bills, they were not. They had become the losers of four straight Super Bowls as were the Minnesota Vikings in the 70s. And so, uh, and my next one is one of, one of the closest ones in Super Bowl history, Super Bowl 25, and it's, uh, and it's Scott Norwood kicks wide right. And it was the closest game in Super Bowl history. Uh, came down to a field goal attempt by the Bills kicker Scott Norwood uh, lined up to attempt his, his and his kick sailed Wide right, giving the Giants a 20-19 win. And 
Poor Scotty didn't miss a field goal, but they played a great game. It was only a one-point loss, but the Bills, they would go on to be the losers of four straight, as were the Minnesota Vikings, as I mentioned, in the uh, 70s. And another one I have is from the uh, from Super Bowl Seven, and uh, and that was the Miami Dolphins and the Washington Redskins, and the 1972 Miami Dolphins would make NFL history that that season by winning the Super Bowl and going undefeated, having a perfect 17 and 0 season, and the 72 Miami Dolphins are the first and only team to ever do that. But the number one moment, greatest Super Bowl moment in, in history is from Super Bowl 13 in 1979, which was the Steelers and the Cowboys, and uh, NFL Pro Football Hall of Famer quarterback Terry Bradshaw found Franco Harris open in the end zone, who would take the ball 22 yards into the end zone, and the Giants... And the uh, Steelers won that game. Uh, I'm going to look back at it in the book here. I know I, I have my Super Bowl book with me. And the uh, the uh, Steelers have won Super Bowl 13, 35 to 31. And, uh, and Terry Bradshaw reunited with Franco Harris just a few hours ago on the Super Bowl kickoff show. And they recreated that play. Uh, to really uh, to really commemorate that, and I gotta tell you, it's one of the greatest moments in Super Bowl history. And uh, now, uh, getting back to today, and I want to mention that we're inching closer to getting to kickoff of the Super Bowl between the uh, uh, Chiefs and uh, 49ers, and we are about. An hour and uh, 90 minutes away from kickoff at 6.30. So we're almost, we're inching closer. And uh, and I just feel that uh, these were some, that moments I think were some of the greatest moments in uh, Super Bowl history. And the San Francisco 49ers also had some great moments in Super Bowl history under quarterback Joe Montana. Who shares full Super Bowl four Super Bowl rings with Terry Bradshaw? They both have won. Tell you with the Steelers, J- Joe Montana with the 49ers. and Joe Montana and Jerry Rice uh, c- connected for a lot of great plays in all and four out of the five Super Bowls that the uh, 49ers uh, had won, and so that's why I, I picked a lot of these great moments in Super Bowl history for today's for this segment. And uh, right now, I want to uh, reveal the answer to uh, this segment's trivia question, Super Bowl trivia question, and uh, and here is the uh, here is the uh, answer to it. Here's the question again: Who was the first wild card team to win a Super Bowl? And if you said the Oakland Raiders. You are correct. <clears throat> On January 25th, 1981, the Oakland Raiders defeated the Philadelphia Eagles uh, 27-10 in Super Bowl 15. MVP Jim Plunkett passed for three touchdowns, including an 80-yard strike to Kenny King. And I will have another trivia question <coughs> in my fourth segment coming up. Uh, now, getting back uh, and getting you geared up for tonight's game, I've got the today's sports section, and it says, raise to end on the, uh, raise excel to excel on the big stage. And uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes uh, seems to thrive in big moments, something appreciated by teammates Eric Fisher and Mitchell Schwartz. Mahomes will get a chance to become a part of NFL history today. When the Chiefs play the 49ers uh, in just a couple of an hour and uh, uh, an hour and eighty seven minutes, well, actually, yeah, it'll be an hour and eight, hour and forty seven minutes, excuse me, and uh, and uh, and 
this is really going to be a game that I feel is going to be very close. So, I, I just, I've got to, uh, to really give the, uh, the Cavs, the, uh, Chiefs, because this is going to be a close game. Uh, tonight, I believe, and, uh, and I just feel that, uh, and, uh, over this week, a practical arms tagged along with his dad. He bounced around, uh, major leagues, uh, journeyman, and he had around superstars like Alex Rodriguez and Jared Jeter. He watched how they prepared, and the lessons he learned are a big reason for why the starting quarterback for the Chiefs in the is in the Super Bowl today. Oh, uh, and they're also and they're also uh, why he is uh, is the rare player who could face the NFL for years to come. Now, just to see uh, guys like that definitely in, uh, instilled in in me that I had. That I had to work if I wanted to be a professional athlete, Mahomes said. Now, uh, the guys said go, going out there and performing and being great, but you understand how much hard work it takes. And it does take a lot of hard work, that's for sure. And having good genetics helped too. Mahomes' uh, father, Pat, uh, Pat, Patrick Mahomes the first, was a hardworking, hard was a hard throwing uh, righty who played for six teams and an 11 year pro career that ended in 2003 when his son was eight and. Good parenting is a part of the uh, grooming of a player who has taken the Chiefs to the Super Bowl for the first time in half a century. And Mahomes, Mahomes always credits his mother and father first before going down the list to other influence, and there are many in his life. But uh, his, his parents really come first, and he's 24 years old. He's on his way. And... And... Uh, is this guy perfect? No, he's got a funny haircut and and a voice that takes some getting used to. But uh, teammates will tell you he is sometimes he sometimes plays practical jokes on them. So, but um, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna uh, each uh, side will look to set the tempo today and. Uh, And it's been a while since the uh, Super Bowl has been a, appeared, appeared to be such a toss-up. And this one is a toss-up by far. And, uh, and it's not difficult to figure out the Chiefs will approach this game. And I think... And, uh, and I think uh, the Chiefs, I think, will have the ball, I feel, in the first quarter. But not till probably later on in the first after the first two plays. And uh, I just feel that uh, I feel that this is really going to be one of those games that's going to be close. And and the Chiefs' speed will really have to be good versus the 49ers' secondary. And especially with wide receivers Tyreek Hill and uh, Sammy Watkins and Travis Kelsey, they are really going to be dominating this game tonight. They're going to be ready to play, and they're going to be fired up. For this game today, I would expect the Chiefs' offense to really, uh, really put up a good game against the 49ers' defense, and the Chiefs' defense put up a good game against the 49ers' uh, offense. And uh, coming up, I will uh, in the next segment we will uh, uh, preview the game and uh, uh, give some more uh, upcoming uh, uh, what we, what to expect and what what I feel is going to happen uh, in this game uh, today. So. Uh, I just, uh, we'll have that coming up, so I'm going to take a little breather, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to upload this to my, uh, uh, YouTube channel, this third segment, so, uh, I will be back after this segment has been uploaded, and, uh, so, uh, stay tuned for more of Super Bowl 101, the special, uh, special edition of Scott Sports 101, leading, continuous podcast leading up to kickoff of Super Bowl 51. I'll be back right after I've uploaded this segment. Stay tuned. <laughs> 